Welcome to Castle Country RV here in Helper, Utah. My name is Ryan Specht. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Alpha Wolf 23RD. Now one of the most important things when you're looking to buy a new travel trailer, what is my tow vehicle capable of towing and how much does this trailer weigh? On this particular unit we come in 5,700 pounds dry weight, just under 7,700 pounds gross weight. That allows for 2,000 pounds of cargo, which is a ton for a travel trailer. So just want to make sure that your tow vehicle is rated to tow at least that much weight. We do have the nice hard plastic cover on the propane tanks up front. You got that quick, easy access on top too, so you don't have to take the whole cover off to get to it. Power tongue jack also has a light on it, which is pretty nice because you're not always hooking up and unhooking right in the middle of the day. As we come through around the front side here, our campsite side, as I like to call it, we've got a huge pass-through storage area here. I do like to point out we have mag magnets for all your baggage door catches and a nice slam latches on all the doors instead of just some little twist tees. Got a nice power awning above us, runs the full length of the coach. There is an LED strip that runs under that awning as well, provides a lot of light, but it doesn't get hot, so it doesn't attract the bugs. One final thing I'll point out here on the outside before we head inside, you've got the awesome outdoor kitchen. So you've got a two burner cooktop, you've got your outdoor sink, as well as a mini fridge and an ice maker. So all the goodies you need to have an awesome outdoor cook site here at the 23RD. All right guys, come on in, check out the awesome interior on this 23RD by Alpha Wolf. As you walk in, one of the first things you probably notice is the really cool zebra blinds on all the really, really big windows. So you've got some awesome lighting that'll come in. Um, I really like the fact you've got your extra sleeping area right here at the entry door at the back. Very comfortable couch when you need it, but it also makes in to another bed if you ever have those guests over. You do have a nice little end table on each side and they've done a good job. Each side has got a 110 volt outlet as well as a 12 volt USB port. Each of them have their own lights that have their own individual on and off buttons. And then you've also got some great storage up above. This is open all the way across. So tons of storage. Something else I like to point out here, we've got real wooden ballasts here. This isn't just that cheap fabric ballast around these awesome zebra blinds. Slide over into our slide out, you'll notice we brought it in with the freestanding table and chairs in this particular model. Just a little more comfortable than the booth dinette. And this is what we call a couple's coach. So really set up for mama and papa to go out and have a great weekend. But again, you do have that extra sleeping. I do like to point out here too, we've got the entertainment center and a great spot for viewing from either the table or the couch. So this mount, there's the same mount outside if you wanted to pop your TV off and take it outside to watch it out there. And then uh, right here, you've got your stereo. It's gonna be indoor and outdoor speakers. It is Bluetooth capable. And then you've got your electric heater fireplace right below that. That is really nice if you're somewhere with hookups, that's gonna save you a ton of propane. It'll really take the chill off in this main area. And a lot of times, one of the biggest concerns storage right when it comes to a camper so we've got an awesome pantry here look at all this storage room you could use it for all your goodies i mean there's all kinds of different versatile ways that you can use that storage area right behind me you do have the controls uh, digital thermostat for the ac and the heat just like at home above that is the uh, one control hookups for the wi-fi hotspot that the coach is already built for you do have the eight cubic foot gas electric fridge which the industry is kind of going towards that 12 volt fridge. I like that Alpha Wolf is sticking with the tried and true gas electric. So if you're doing some boondocking, you can still keep this fridge nice and cold off the propane. Right over here, we've got a nice size oven. You've also got that good three burner cooktop that's got the glass cover that provides more counter space, also serves as a backsplash when it's time to cook. And then another really neat thing that Alpha Wolf does, this backsplash here is not just a backsplash, it also comes off as your cutting board. It just magnets right on the wall. Another just innovative thought coming out of the Alpha Wolf plant. Right above that, you've got your uh, hood fan that's actually got a light on it as well. A good size microwave here. Uh, this will hold your regular nine inch dinner plates. And then one thing I really like is they've gone to the single basin, big barn sink here. So you've got that sink that's large enough to wash some of your bigger pots and pans. You've got the sanitation station here as well as the high rise faucet. Really nice cabinetry above the sink as well. Good storage. I like to point out here too, this stuff is screwed together, not just stapled together. So when you're going down the road, that's kind of an important thing, uh, making sure that those staples just don't work their way out. Good bank of drawers here too. A lot of times in a coach this size, this is the area that gets skipped is the bank of drawers. And notice they've even got the little silverware divider here for you already in that drawer. So that kind of wraps it up here in the main living area. I'll meet you in the bathroom, then we'll go check out the bedroom on the 23RD Alpha Wolf. 
All right, now time to look at the pass-through bathroom that we've got here before we enter the main bedroom. Really nice positioning for your uh, stool here. Plenty of room for even larger people where you're not gonna be banging your knees and stuff on the shower of, in front of you. Good amount of storage here, a great linen closet in the bathroom. Look how far back this goes. And we've got three big shelves here that do that, as well as the open compartment below that does that also. Really good sized sink. And you'll also notice it's an actual medicine cabinet hanging on the wall, not just a mirror. Another thing I really like that they started doing this season, this light switch or this light right here is auto. So if it detects motion, it'll automatically turn on, which is a great feature to have in the coach. Then you've got your really nice big uh, shower here. It does have the glass enclosure on it magnets together so you don't have to worry about any of that water getting out and going anywhere and finally we do bring it in with a really nice max air fan this sucker will exhaust over 900 cubic feet of air a minute so it really does a good job of getting rid of the humidity and stuff after you use the shower and keeping the, the temperature regulated in this coach we'll go ahead and slide right on into the bedroom now one thing i really like here you've got that pocket sliding door into the bedroom so you're not having to you know Step to the side, open the door, step around it. It's a really nice uh, pocket door that they've done here. Got a really good size wardrobe closet with hanging space on each side of the bed. You've also got some good overhead storage. And again, it's open all the way across here. It does come with the linens. And I also like to point out the ample storage down below that bed as well. So you've got plenty of room to store some of your goodies. And of course, the other side of that is gonna be your traditional pass-through storage area. So that kind of wraps it up on the tour of the 23RD. Well, thanks for taking the time to visit with me here at Castle Country RV in Helper, Utah. We've been check checking out the uh, Alpha Wolf 23RD. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, ryans at castlecountryrv.com, or just stop by the dealership. We'd love to show you what we have in our inventory.